Hey guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back with another video. This time we're gonna be comparing the Samsung Z Fold 3 to the Tab S6 Lite. Yeah, I know this is a crazy video, but I wanted to have fun with it and let you guys know how it stands drawing wise and from an artist's perspective. All right, these are two different price ranges. The full three is like an $1,800 phone. The Tab S6 Lite, I got mine for $250 on sale, I think uh, a couple years ago, two years ago now. Wow, this tablet is not old, but it's been fantastic. And I really, the Tab S6 Lite is super small. It's around like 10.1 inch compared to my Tab S7, which is I think an inch bigger. Uh, but yeah, I was like, I really thought when I first used the Fold that it was around the size of my Type S6 Lite. Boy, was I wrong. The Fold 3, the size is around um, 6.4 inches about. So it's like a mini tablet. And the reason I really wanted to kind of compare these two uh, is down to the drawing experience and value wise. The Type S6 Lite has stood the test of time. The processor is not as fast as the Fold three but it's still very much usable for drawing in this day and age and it more recently got samsung dex which basically is it turns your, your tablet into a pc like experience and the reason i really wanted to stack these two together is because the tab s6 Lite, mixed with any type of android phone like this is like my dad's phone is a great kind of competitor to like kind of this type of experience i just wanted to kind of put them together to show you guys and here are the two s pens the fold has a special s pen since this one will not work on it because uh it uses a different technology it's still the same S Pen hardware, but the tip is much softer so that it would not break the screen compared to the Tab S6 Lite, which works with any other Wacom EMR pen. Um, so you just gotta look look up any device that's compatible with Wacom EMR and it works with it, such as the Norris Pencil that I can use right here that has an eraser, which is one of the reasons I prefer the Tab S6 Lite over the full just because i have more options in what i use to draw and i have an eraser so far there's only two s pen for the full there's this one and there's the pro editions which does not have an eraser and i'm not a big fan of this button right here compared to on the tab s6 light even though i have a sleeve on it it's it's a lot more clickable as you guys can hear in the different sounds i'm not sure if you guys can hear but this is much easier to click than uh, the one on the Fold Edition. As far as drawing experience, I still prefer the drawing on the Tab S6 Lite just because of the tip. Like, these is, this is some of the drawings that I've done on the Fold. It's not bad. You're paying for convenience here in a luxury item, as well as this is still a first generation item. So these are the couple of drawings that I've done. This one's still loading. That I've done on the fold and even even though the fold is meant to be more convenient it does not have a slot for you to put in a pen like the Samsung Note so I actually got this case um, from Rain K this is also from Rain K you guys can check out this video right here I go in more about all the different cases that I have for the fold to be able to carry the pen even though that helps solve it it's it's still not as convenient as like having something like this on the Tab S6 Lite, which this case is also from Rinke as well. Thanks again for Rinke, they sent me out these cases for free. Another downside to the fold is there's a visible crease in the middle and when drawing it does, you do feel it. It doesn't enter, I got used to it over time, but you definitely do feel it and it does affect kind of your line, especially if you're trying to draw something straight or a specific angle. So you kind of have to zoom out and draw it more on the other side. Um, again, it's not too bad, but I'm, I must admit the having just a flat display is much nicer on the Tab S6 Lite and it's much cheaper too. So if you're getting any of these specifically for drawing, I'll definitely go with the Tab S6 Lite since the the fold is just not there yet with that being said 
you're getting a lot more for the money on the Fold. I personally really love the cameras on the Fold 3. I use them for work even though everyone says you can get the same camera on the S21 Ultra. I do not have this S21 Ultra so um, this is perfect for me and this was a huge upgrade from my Note 10 Plus that I'm actually using to film this video so I will actually have a follow-up video comparing those two and those experiences and despite all the cumbersome um, use of this I still really enjoy this so much especially just for multitasking i there's just so much more i can do even though on the tab s6 light i can do the exact same thing this is a phone this is a tablet this is the ultimate productivity phone where i do not have to carry two devices and it's worth that for me even though i'm losing out on battery life that's the benefit of being able to bring the tab s6 light and another android phone per se clip paint studio also work on both of these devices which is pretty convenient that but sadly the the version of clip paint studio that's on the fold is actually the mobile version which which kind of sucks so let me open up this drawing right here it's the mobile version compared to on um, the Tab S6 Lite. Let me open up Clip Paint Studio. I have one license, so I probably might have to deactivate it on one. Um, but let's see. Clip Paint Studio is the full version on here. Like you get to see, I, I my most popular video on my channel is drawing on Clip Paint Studio. And you can also use Photoshop on here via super display i will be making a follow-up video on how to do that you can do the same thing on the fold as well um but it's basically it's a way of screen mirroring your computer screen into either one of these devices i do not want to deactivate my license on my fold to activate it on my tab s6 Lite. um again for clip paint studio you do need a monthly subscription for which i think it's worth it um especially if you're a working artist but if you're not there are so many different free options on android i know everybody talks about ibis paint x i personally love using autodesk sketchbook even though it's kind of super buggy sometimes so i recommend saving your drawings and exporting them multitasking on both of these are fantastic the point here will go to the tab s6 light since it has a bigger screen real estate uh, but since since the fold has more portability i prefer that one for myself and check out these two playlists on all the drawing videos that i've done on both of these devices i love them both to death uh, the fold is fantastic but i must say it's a first generation device and i hope this video will help anyone that really wants to get this phone but they either don't have the means to they're not available in their country or just the financial aspect going with the tab s6 Lite with any other phone that you have is still a fantastic option in this day and age 2021 um at the time of the recording of this video if you guys have any specific things you guys would like me to cover on both of these to test out i'm more than happy to I'll leave them down below in the comment sections and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye